So now let's see how we can work around with layers and understand layers inside of Adobe Fresco. So to understand layers, I'm just going to go around and take this watercolor right here and then just draw around. So let me just bring up the brush size a bit, just like this, and not that big, but let me just bring it this size and then draw brown. So just like that, I'm just going to go around draw. And once I draw, what happens is that uh, there's actually a layer that is created. There's the background layer, which is right there, but there's this main layer, which I can hide and I can see. So I'm just going to go around and then choose another color and draw around on top of it, just like that. Let me choose a brighter color as well. So let's say I'm just going to choose a brighter version of yellow and just draw around right here. So what happens when I draw is that all of them are getting mixed in the same layer. So if I were to create a new layer here, if I were to press this button, a new layer is created. I can also alternatively right click here and click on add layer to create a new layer. So I'm just going to go around and uh, once this layer is selected, I'm just going to choose another color like green. And if I were to draw on top of it, what happens is that it does not mix with the layer beneath it. It's as if you're, you have kept a plastic and you're drawing on top of it. So uh, it does not mix with the layer beneath. You can go around, choose another color just like this. And now as it's on the same layer, they get mixed up. Whenever you go and choose around a vector brush just like this, you can see that new layer is automatically created just like that. So over here, you can see that these are the layers and you can move around the layers as well. And to do that, you can choose the move tool right here. And what you can do is you can move this around. You can resize layers, you can rotate layers. So you can select any layer that you want to move and then just move it around just like this, as you can see. But over here, you can see that this layer is uh, beneath the other two layers. That is because it's the same. Um, it has the same order right here. So if you want to change the order, let's say I want this part at the top, you can just click and hold it. And what happens is that you can bring it up. But right now I'm in the move tool. So I'm just going to press done to come out of the move tool. So in order to move the layer, I'm just going to click and hold this and it pops up as you can see. So I can simply drag this up right over here and you'll be able to see that this is at the top now. I can do similar thing with this. So I'm just going to click and hold this so you can see that it pops up to the top. I can just bring it out over here onto the top. And what happens is that now this vector vector layer is beneath. So I can just go around, move that around, resize this around as well and move it around whenever, wherever I want. And this is the beauty of working with digital graphics. You can move around and have layers as control. Uh, which is similar with any other Adobe applications if you are used to them. So that is how you can work around with layers inside of Adobe Fresco. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.